Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to get resource packs for Minecraft Java using CurseForge. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the CurseForge app. If you don't have it, you can go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but all you have to do is go to your search bar and type in CurseForge like so. Once you enter, you should see CurseForge.com, so just click on CurseForge here and this will send you to the CurseForge homepage. From there, you have to go to the top of the website to get CurseForge app and then you should see download standalone as an option that you can do to download CurseForge. So this is how you download CurseForge. And once you install it, you should see an app that looks like this and all you want to do is click the app. From there, it will open up like so. And then we should be able to see a couple games. So all we want to do here is go to Minecraft. So just click on Minecraft and he will tell you set up CurseForge Minecraft modding folder standard or advanced. You can keep it on standard if you want. And then here we have this Minecraft installer here. So this is how we get different modifications for Minecraft, including resource packs. So all you have to do here is just go to the browse tab. And from there, what you can do here is go to the mod pack section, if that is selected, and you can do resource packs. From there, you will see plenty of resource packs that you can use. So for example, if you want to get a resource pack like fancy crops, you'll just go to the install button for that resource pack. And then you'll see install fancy crops, create new profile or select a profile. This option will only be available if you really have a CurseForge profile, but if you don't, you can do create a new profile, profile name, 1.21.4 for example, advanced, and here we have Minecraft version, you can select that, and we have Forge, Fabric, Quilt, and New Forge, that is for different mods, Vanilla is just classic Minecraft, and from there you can just do create. Then it will download Minecraft, like so, and then we should see fancy crops. So this fancy crops here can be activated or disactivated as well as the here. Okay. All you have to do here is just go to play and this will open up a new Minecraft launcher. So let's just wait for that. And once it's done you can go to Minecraft here and it'll tell you to log in. This is a different Minecraft launcher. So you need to log in using your Microsoft account, which you purchased Minecraft on. So let's just do this right now. And once you do this, you can do let's go. And then this will bring you to the Minecraft launcher. Okay, so all you have to do here is just go to Minecraft Java Edition. And then you should see your Minecraft version here. So. This is the same as this version, as these are both Vanilla latest releases. But for example, once you selected your version, you can do play, and this will go ahead and install it. So basically, once we have Minecraft opened and everything, you can go to a single player world, or as this is a resource pack, it also works on servers as well as realms. But basically, once we are in a world, like so, we can go ahead and test out our fancy crops we have here. So, of course, we need to go on the ground for this one, and we'll just go here. And basically, what fancy crops do, it changes the texture of crops. So, if we do seeds, here we have the classic Minecraft seeds, now I'm going to show you why. And we're going to get a wooden hoe. So, in itself, Fancy Crops does not automatically activate. To actually activate it, you need to do just like in Minecraft, where you escape, options, resource packs, and you'll see it right here. So, you basically just need to do play, it will go to form available to select it, and you can do done, and there you go. And this will just change the textures, as you can see here. And here we do have a different looking crop from the normal Minecraft crop. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to get resource packs for CurseForge in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.